I was excited to try something out. Um, we're going to do something called the jellyfish flow. Um, one of the challenges I had while I first started yoga was connecting my breath to my body and the visuals they gave us in astrology training was like, you know, think of a jellyfish. It kind of just big and hell expands and easy exhale settles in. So this image brings a lot of comfort for me every time I'm moving around. I don't know if I'm sinking my breath to body and then it becomes so mechanical and I get stressed out. Um, so, you know, using the jellyfish imagery, take a big inhale, imagine your jellyfish expanding and exhale settling. So it doesn't matter what you're doing. You can be like leaning towards one side and just let your breath ripple through your body. Lean to the other side. And every time you move to the other side, just let the jellyfish movement kind of inspire you for this flow. Um, I'm gonna get started. So we'll see the position. Settling in here. Anything you wanna do, maybe a nice sway side to side. Gentle rotations around your neck. Lower down back. Anything you wanna do to settle in, take care of yourself if you notice any tightness, any stress in your body. Simply see if you can soften a little bit more. Nice and easy. Start to bring your attention to your inhales and exhales. Helps bring the jellyfish imagery in your mind. Let each inhale lift and open you up. And in the exhale, softening, coming back inwards. Next inhale, float your arms up high, bring your palms together, and your thumbs right in front of your heart. Settling here for a couple of deep, long breaths. Big and healthy your nose. And long exhale out your mouth. Two more times. Big and health. And long exhale. One more time. Big and health. And long exhale. Gently relaxing your hands, leaning towards your right side, big and how to lift and open up. And easy exhale, settling in. Let your inhales and exhales ripple through, starting from the middle. Easy jellyfish. You want to lean backwards a little bit more, stretch your shoulders. And slowly coming to the middle, leaning towards the other side here. Big and how to lift and open. And easy settling here. And your inhales and exhales ripple through. Lean your shoulder backwards if that feels good. Coming all the way to the middle. We'll crawl in front of you one step at a time. Stay on your palm if that feels good. If you wanna rest your head and neck or maybe come down to your elbows. Nice and easy. Maybe a gentle sway side to side. And rounding all the way up, walking your hands behind you one step at a time. Lean backwards, open up your chest. If you want to lift your hips up for a little bit more of a stretch, see how that feels. And slowly coming all the way back to the middle. And we'll meet on our hands and knees. No rush here, finding a comfortable stance. Moving side to side here. Rolling around. Anything you want to do here that feels good. Forward and back. Side to side, maybe some gentle rotations around your neck if that feels good. Tuning into your body. Letting your inhales and exhales. 
exhale, simply roll through. Some gentle cat cows from here, big inhale. Tuck your chin, round your back. And easy exhale, drop your belly, face your chin upwards. Two more times, big inhale. And long exhale. One more time, big inhale, tuck your chin, round your back. And easy exhale, drop your belly, face your chin upwards. Slowly crawling a little bit in front of you. Dropping your hips in front for an easy up dog here. See how that feels. If that's too much pressure for your shoulders or arms, maybe come a little bit towards the middle or come further down here. See how that feels. Easy sway as you settle in. Get ready. Bring your shoulder blades together. Big and help. And easy exhale. Coming all the way down. Interlacing your finger just behind you. And we arch your back here. Maybe another sway here if that feels good. Letting your inhales and exhales carry you through. And then plant your palms outside your chest. We'll come back on all fours here. Crawling towards your left side as you slide your right foot to the front of the mat. So settling here for a couple of deep, long breaths. Anything you want to do, explore around. Try to maybe move from one side to another, or just stay here if that feels really good. If you want to come down on your elbows, try leaning towards one side. See how that feels. Sometimes we don't notice um, how tight we are until we start moving around, and then our body starts to tell us what it wants. Maybe leaning towards the side a little bit more. Maybe something feels good or not so good. Anytime something doesn't feel right, just ease out of it. And keeping your knee on the mat, tuck the back toes as you shift your hips towards the back for a runner stretch here. Balancing with your fingertips, sitting on your heels if that feels good. You want to come towards the middle. That could also feel really nice. See what your body wants. Folding your torso over your thigh. Let your inhales and exhales ripple through. Like a jellyfish opening up. And in the exhale, settling here. And crawling all the way out to the front. Tuck the back toes, lift your knee. As you lean towards the left side, an easy twist to the right. Good, coming all the way to the middle. Lift your hips, ground your back heel behind you as you fold your torso over your thigh. Relaxing your head and neck, gentle bend on the knees. Settling in. Then gently sinking into your low lunge, crawling through the middle, big inhale, high lunge, and easy exhale, coming all the way down, relaxing your knee, crawling to the open side to slide your foot back, and we'll do the same on the other side, nice and easy. Then settling here for a couple of deep, long breaths, and remember, one side doesn't feel the same as the other side, that's totally fine. Anything you want to do here, staying up high, coming down low or to the side. Let your body pull you towards a direction that feels good. And let your breath ripple through. Straighten your arms, keeping your knee on the mat, tuck the back toes as you shift your hips for a runner stretch on this side. Any variation that feels good for you, folding your torso over your thigh, relaxing your head and neck. 
And letting your inhales and exhales do all the work. Crawling all the way to the front, tuck the back toes, lift your knee as you lean towards the right, and easy twist to the left. Bring your hands to the middle, lift your hips, ground your back heel behind you as you fold your torso over your thigh. Gentle bend on your knees, relaxing your head and neck. Staying nice and soft, we're gonna sink into a low lunge. Big and how high a lunge. And easy exhale, lowering everything down, meeting on all fours here. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back into a downward dog here. Settling in, easy sway side to side. Opening the back of your legs, lifting your hips up high. Long flat back, see how that feels. And when you're ready, big inhale, lift your heels all the way up to your tippy toes for one. Easy exhale, settling down. Two more times, big inhale to lift. Easy down. One more time, big inhale up to your tippy toes. Exhale, settling. More gently crawl out into a plank pose. Nice long wave here. So nice and easy. Leaning side to side, make sure you're not dumping all your weight just to your wrists. Settling here, side plank on your right. Big inhale, stacking your hips, open up. Easy, all the way to the middle, staying along the other side. Inhale, nice opening. And easy to the middle. Softening your elbows, come all the way down. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back. And do another downward dog. This time, walking towards the front of your mat. One step at a time here. Moving side to side, leaning your hips from one side to another. And once you reach the top, stay folded here. Gentle bend on the knees. Anything you want to do with your hands, if you want to catch a hold of your elbows, let your hands drop. First step on your palms lightly. Make sure you're not putting up your entire weight. Or see how that feels. And letting your inhales and exhales ripple through. Slowly rounding all the way up to standing, one notch at a time, no rush. Whenever you reach the top, inhale, float your arms up high. Easy exhale, rounding all the way down. Two more times here, at your own pace. Rounding all the way up to standing, opening your back up notch by notch. Whenever you reach the top, big inhale, and easy exhale. One more time here, no rush. Rounding up to standing. Big, float your arms up high. Easy, exhale, folding over, interlace your fingertips behind you, relax your head and neck. Nice shoulder release here. And then gently releasing your fingertips, leaning towards your right foot, slide your left leg behind. Low lunge from here. Coming through the middle, inhale, pulls you up. And easy exhale, settling in. Big inhale to lift. Bring your palms together and your thumbs right in front of your heartbeat. Settling here. Feel your heart beating for you. Big inhale to lift. And easy twist, bring your elbow outside your knee. See how that feels. If it's a little bit wobbly, bring your left fingertips towards the mat and open your arms up. And coming all the way back down, lift your hips, ground your back to behind you for a single leg forward fold. Relaxing your head and neck, gentle bend on the knees as you fold your torso over.
gentle bend on both knees as you slowly crawl towards the front of your mat. Warrior three here. Gentle bend on the standing leg. If you wanna move your hips around, move your back leg, see how that feels. Sometimes it could be a nice hip opener here. And stepping that foot behind. Round all the way up, high lunge. And easy exhale, spinning everything open towards your left. Ground your back heel. Face your front toes towards the front. Make sure your knee is not dropping in and settling in for a couple of deep, long breaths here. Warrior two. Anything you want to do, maybe moving side to side. See how that feels. And whenever you're comfy, big and help float your arms up high. And exhale, settling here. Nice and easy, letting your inhales and exhales flow through, keeping your elbows, shoulders, everything softening. No need to lock anything. And simply let your inhales and exhales flow through. Like a jellyfish, nice opening and settling with your breath. When you're ready to get out of this one, big and help pull your arms up high. Easy exhale, settling in. Two more times, inhale pulls you up. And easy exhale, settling. One more time, big and help. And long exhale. Next inhale, tip all the way towards the back. Nice long stretch here. And tipping all the way towards the front, form on your thigh, big and healthy, spin your belly open. We'll do this two more times. Inhale, pulls you up. Easy exhale, leaning backwards. And tipping all the way to the front, form on your thigh, big and inhale, opening your belly. One more time here, big and inhale, pulls you up. Easy, leaning backwards. And tipping all the way to your front. Form on your thigh, big inhale, opening your belly. And gently placing your palm on the mat, bring your back heel to your toes. We're gonna lean on your left hand. Maybe slide that foot all the way into a side plank or step your foot out if that feels more comfortable. And coming all the way to the middle, softening your elbows. Lift all the way up for one. And lift your hips up and back for another downward dog here. And slowly walking towards the front of your mat, one step at a time. And whenever you reach the top, slowly rounding all the way up to standing. Big and up, float your hands up high. Easy exhale, folding forward. Interlace your fingertips behind you. Relax your head and neck. Releasing your hands, leaning towards your left foot, slide your right leg behind, low lunge on this side, big and how to pull you up, and easy exhale, settling in. Next inhale, pulls you up, bring your palms together, and your thumbs right in front of your heartbeat. Inhale, gently lift, and easy twist towards the left, bring your elbow outside your knee here. If you want a little bit more balance, bring your right fingertips towards the mat and open up if that feels nice. And slowly coming all the way to the middle, lift your hips, ground your back heel behind you as you fold your torso over your thigh. Gentle bend on both knees, relax your head and neck. Letting your inhales and exhales ripple through. And softening both knees as you slowly crawl towards your front leg for a warrior three on this side. Softening your knees. Anything you want to do here, if you want to move your hips around. Maybe it could be a nice hip opener, side to side. Remember, you're not locking the standing leg. And gently stepping your foot 
behind, low lunge, rounding all the way up, high lunge, and easy exhale, spinning everything towards your right, rounding your back heel behind you, pointing your front knee towards the front of the mat, and settling in. Anything you want to do for over two on this side, adjust your stance if it's not comfortable, if you're nice and sturdy, stay here. And whenever you're ready, big inhale, float your arms up high. And easy exhale, settling in for a couple of deep, long breaths. Staying soft on your elbows, your shoulders, letting your inhale and exhale flow through you. Nice and easy, like a jellyfish flowing along the ocean, letting your breath ripple through. And staying nice and soft. And when you have enough of this one, big help pulls you up high. And easy settling. Two more times. Inhale lifts you up. And easy exhale. Soften. One more time. Inhale up. And exhale. Settle. Next, inhale, leaning all the way towards the back. Nice, long stretch. Easy, exhale, tipping all the way to the front. Forearm on your thigh, big inhale, spinning your belly open. We'll do this two more times. Inhale, pulls you up. Easy, exhale, leaning backwards. And tipping all the way to the front. Forearm on your thigh, big inhale, spinning your belly open. One more time here, big inhale, pulls you up. Easy, leaning all the way backwards and tipping all the way to the front. Form on your thigh, spinning your belly open. And bring your hand down to the mat, your back toes, your back uh, heel to your toes. We're gonna do the side plank thing here, leaning on your right hand, slowly, maybe with your help of your opposite hand, stacking your foot into a side plank or to the side. Nice rock start here. Easy opening. And coming all the way to the middle into a plank pose here, rocking forward and back, side to side. And whenever you're settled, coming all the way down to the belly, two more times, big out to lift up and easy lower. All the way up, one more time here, all the way down to your belly, tuck your toes, lift all the way up into a plank pose. And then up and back into a downward dog here, settling in. Easy, slowly side to side. Slowly walking towards the front of your mat, one step at a time. Stay folded here, gentle bend on the knees. And sinking through your hips, you round all the way up into your chair pose here. Easy, exhale, settling. Big and hot, gently lift. And exhale, sinking a little bit more. Nice inhale, lift up. Easy, twist towards the right. Big and hot to flow everything up. And twist to the other side. One more time on each side. Big and hot, lift. Easy, twist. And the little lift pulls you up and twist to the other side. Big inhale, come all the way up and then exhale, folding over. Crawling a little bit in front of you, putting some weight on your hands as you gently sink into a squat. Nice and easy squat. Any version of squat that feels good. If you want to settle in here in the middle for a couple of deep, long breaths. You want to bring your palms together, elbows inside your knees. Or if you want to move side to side here, opening up your hips, your calves. Play around, see how that feels. If your shins are super tight and you feel like you're kind of falling here, it's not super comfortable. Maybe leaning towards one side and open up. Any variation that helps you find more comfort. Play around. And if you want to play more, explore, maybe gently rocking forward and back into 
a crow pose. Learning to move with your breath, nice and easy. The more you practice it, the less weird it is. You know, each inhale rocking you forward and exhale settling back in. Letting your body relax when it's coming into any kind of challenge. Just rocking forward and back here. Maybe one foot comes up, coming all the way down. And easy rocking to the other side. It's helping your body get used to this position, especially if it's something you've never done before. It might feel a little bit awkward. You might start to tighten and lock everything. And that's not the point here. We want to keep our bodies relaxed. And let your inhales and exhales carry you along for the ride. And when you're ready, slowly meeting on our hips. Doing a couple of boat rides here, grabbing a hold of your shins. Gentle bend on the knees, or if you want to straighten the leg. And we're going to slowly come all the way down and rock all the way up. A couple more here, leaning backwards as we rock up and leaning backward and rock up. We're going to do this a couple more times. Leaning all the way back and come all the way up. Three more times. Lean back, come all the way up, all the way back. And all the way up, one more time. You're coming down and up. Good, this time leaning towards your right side. Rolling all the way here. Big inhale, come up. And leaning to the other side. And rocking up and to the side. And rocking all the way up and to the other side here. <laughs> We're having fun with a couple of easy planks here. Rolling side to side. Okay, one more time on each side. I lost count. <laughs> Leaning all the way towards the left, grabbing a hold of your shins. You want to straighten your legs, grab a hold of your feet, anything that feels fun. <laughs> and then we'll slowly hug your knees close to your chest, come all the way down onto the mat. Facing your feet towards the ceiling, and slowly drop it in front of you into a hover. Big and help to hug your knees in. We'll do this four more times. Face your feet up. Drop it in front of you and hug it right in. Three more times. Face your feet up. Drop it in front of you. Hug it right in. Feet all the way up. Drop it in front of you and hug it right in. One more time. Face your feet up. Drop it in front of you and hug it right in. Good. This time facing both feet towards the ceiling, grabbing hold of your left foot, of your left leg, and relaxing the right one to a hover. And switching sides. And switching sides. So you can do this at any speed you want. If you want to do it faster, slower, gentle bend on the knees. Remember, we're not walking anything. Letting your inhales and exhales flow through you as you catch your breath. Nice and easy. And whenever you have enough of this one, hug your knees close to your chest. And slowly rocking forward and back. Taking your time here, give yourself a nice little back massage as you slowly roll all the way up to sitting. Good job. <laughs> Walking your hands behind you, fingertips pointing your feet, big how to lift your hips up, nice tabletop, relax your head and neck. And softening. Coming all the way down, and we'll meet on all fours. And taking your time to settle in, maybe moving from one side to another, rolling around, anything that feels good here. When you're ready, tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back into a downward dog here. Settling in. Breathing like a jellyfish. Stay nice and soft. Nothing is being locked right now. Down dog split on your right. Lean left. Big and help float your right leg up high. <laughs> Gentle bend on the knee to open up your hips. And easy exhale, stepping 
your foot right between your hands here. And grounding your back heel behind you, round all the way up, warrior one on this side. See how that feels? You want to adjust your stance, make sure that your heel is grounded so you can stretch your hips nice. And facing your belly towards the front. Maybe a nice sway side to side as you settle in. Anything you want to do with your arms, you can leave them to the side, you can open them wide if that feels good, because if you're like me, or maybe it's just me, I spend a lot of my time hunching and it's not good. <laughs> so that might be a nice opening. You can also interlace your fingertips behind your neck and just chill here for a couple of breaths, nice and easy. When you're ready, releasing your fingertips behind you. Interlace your fingertips. Big and hop to left and open up. And easy exhale, folding forward. And heel rounds you up. And easy exhale, folding forward. One more time here. Big and inhale. And long exhale. Gently releasing your fingertips, crawling to the side, bringing your back heel to your toes. And when you're comfy, relax your knee and your foot on the mat. So staying here for a couple of deep, long breaths. Stay up high if that's nice. Maybe come down lower. Just let your inhales and exhales ripple through. straightening your arms. You want to adjust your knee if there's any pressure. Coming towards the middle, leaning towards your left side, big and how to pull you open. And coming to the other side here. Nice, easy opening. Coming all the way to the middle. And tucking your back toes, lift your knee, put some pressure on your hands as you slide your foot across or a pigeon on this side. Settling in, maybe sliding your foot backward, adjusting anything that feels good. This could be a pigeon if it's comfortable. Or you can roll your hips towards the middle. See what feels best for you. And when you're ready, big and how to open up. And easy exhale, folding forward. Relaxing your head and neck. And staying here for a couple of deep, long breaths. Big inhale to fill you up. And easy exhale, settling in. Stay here for a couple of extra breaths if it feels good. You want to explore, maybe gently crawling towards one side, lingering here if that feels nice. Try an easy twist to the other side if that feels good as well. You want to play around with your back leg, gentle bend on the knee, catch a hold of your foot. Hook it to your elbow if that feels nice. And gently leaning forward. Slowly releasing your back foot, 
leaning to the side as you slide your leg all the way out. Catch a hold of it with your left hand. And easy straightening your leg. in front of you, open it up to the side. You want to go for a twist, bring your opposite hand to the outside of your foot, an easy twist here. Looking towards the back. Coming all the way to the middle. Hugging your shin close to your chest. You can hug your foot inside your elbow. We're using your palms to bring them in. See how that feels. Easy sway here. Give your shin a big hug. Lean towards the back as you slide your front leg all the way to the front. Planting your foot outside your knee. Easy twist to the left. Hook your elbow in front of your knee. Big hug to lengthen. And easy twist looking back. And counter twist on the other side. Coming all the way to the middle. We'll meet on all fours, taking your time to settle in. Anything you want to do here, roll around. If you want to go for a shoulder stretch, gently thread your right hand under your left one. Bring your shoulder close to the mat. You can gently put some pressure on that shoulder if that feels good. And slowly switching sides here. Inhales and exhales, flow through. And when you're ready, coming all the way to the middle, lift your hips up and back for another downward dog here. Down dog split on your left, gently lean towards your right side as you float your left leg up high. Gentle bend on the knees to open up your hips. And easy exhale. Bring your foot right between your hands in front of you. Nice and easy. Settling in, grounding your back heel, your back toe to your heels. And we're gonna round all the way up to standing for warrior one here. Settling in. Remember grounding the back heel, slightly pointed inwards. And settling in, facing your belly towards the front. See if you feel a nice hip opening. Anything you want to do with your arms, maybe moving side to side. I'm going to come a little bit towards the front so you can see my back foot. And settling here. If you want to open up your arms up high, or interlace your fingertips behind your head. And letting your inhales and exhales ripple through. Gently releasing your hands. Interlace your fingertips behind you. Big how to lift and open up. And easy exhale, folding forward. Big how to round you up. And easy exhale. One more time. Big inhale. And long exhale, folding over. And releasing your fingertips. Bring your back heel to your toes, crawling towards the side. Finding a comfortable spot to relax your knee and your foot. Same thing here, anything you wanna do, stay up here, come down low. Explore around, 
maybe this way side to side. Simply letting your inhales and exhales flow through. for a pigeon on this side and sliding your foot back finding a comfortable pigeon on this side any variation that feels good for you whenever you're ready big and healthy open up and easy exhale folding forward bring your tension into your inhales and exhales big and how to fill you up and exhale, settling. If you want to use the jellyfish visual here, as your inhales and exhales ripple through. Stay here for as long as you want. If it feels good and you want to play around. Also, maybe crawl from one side to another. Any spot that feels good to linger in. Be an easy twist towards your left if that feels nice. And if you want to bend the back knee, catch a hold of your foot. Maybe hook it to your elbow and lean forward. See how that feels. If that's too much for your knee, simply ease out of it. And gently releasing your foot, lean towards the side as you slide your leg all the way to the front, catching a hold of it with your right hand. And easy straight up in your leg. This out front, bring it to the side. And if you want to go for another twist, bring the, your opposite hand to the outside of your foot and easy twist towards the right side. all the way to the middle, hugging your shin close to your knee, hugging your shin, hugging your shin close to your chest, using your palms if that feels good, or hooking to your elbows. Give your shin a big hug, lean towards the back as you slide your left leg straight, and gently planting your foot outside that knee, easy twist towards the right, hooking your elbow with your knee, big and how to lift. Then easy twist, looking backwards. Let your inhales gently ripple through. And counter twist on the other side. Gentle bend on both knees. Calling your hands behind you. Big and how to lift and open up. And easy exhale, folding forward. Grabbing a hold of your shins, your feet, whatever's more comfortable. Gentle bend on the knees. 
and fold your torso over your thigh. Big inhale to fill you up. And long exhale, settle again. Two more times. Big inhale. And long exhale. One more time. Big inhale. And long exhale. And we'll slowly bring our backs towards the mat if you want to hug your knees in. Bring them along to soften your landing. See how that feels. And gently rocking side to side. If you can still see me here. <laughs> You want to come into a happy baby, grab a hold of your big toes and settling in as many breaths as you want, moving from one side to the other. And you find no twist or bridge or any stretches you want to do before relaxation. to relax. Gently opening your legs. You want to bring your arms to the side on top of your belly. Any variation that feels nice. And gently closing your eyes. Start to bring your attention to your inhales and exhales. Notice how each inhale, your belly lifts and expands. And in the exhale, relaxing. Almost as if your body is melting into the mat. Just settling here. Inhales and exhales become deeper. Bring in more air into your body. Gently wiggling your fingers and toes. If you want to go for a final stretch, bring your arms above your head. And easy, hugging your knees close to your chest. towards your left or right side, whichever side you're more comfortable with, and settling here. And using strong, some lazy movements, not strong, <laughs> I'm going to come all the way up to sitting, taking your time, settling in. Maybe easy sway side to side. And whenever you're ready, big and help float your arms up high. 
Bring your palms together and your thumbs right in front of your heartbeat. Big inhale through your nose. And long exhale out your mouth. Two more times. Big inhale. And easy exhale. One more time. Big inhale. And long exhale. Whenever you're ready, open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this jellyfish yoga using the visualizations of kind of softening and expanding and moving with ease. Um, it gets easier the more you practice it, it gets easier to connect to your breath. I remember the first couple of times, um, it was very mechanical, it's like inhale, exhale, but you know, once you start practicing and maybe softening like a jellyfish and just seeing that movement in your mind, it can just help you let your inhales and exhales ripple through. And the more you practice, the more natural it becomes. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining.